how do I add the create your own ribbons we call ribbons here with your own name on the tab here and add the tools that you want so we go to you can either right click okay right click and do customize quick access toolbar quick customize the ribbons see that so I'm going to pick customize the ribbons because we want to create your own ribbons right so now you can add your new these are the main tabs you see right tools tabs you can add your new tab like that right and you can rename it to your name you can add any tools that you want from here all right like for example these are the list of the popular commands so let's see if you see any watermark FG it should be alphabetically ordered no so you can do all commands and then it should be alphabetically ordered let me see if I hit W would, would it jump to W no uh, it's just adding keep adding a new group so I'm going to scrolling down watermark then you can add into your new tab here new group add under that you can rename your group if you want to right click and rename okay let's say A pick the symbols for that click OK there you go the new tab with the symbols the group name right for the mark show up so that's how you customize your own ribbons next how to use watermark uh, should be very simple if you use the the template with the text right you can change any or you can customize your own watermark you have an option to do rename your text text watermark instead of confidential you can just say hello <laughs> alright so hello or you can pick the pictures which is your assignment requirements right you can pick any picture from your file from the clip arts <laughs> voila we get a watermark and it's supposed to go through every pages see that and very carefully watch this because not easy the next topic that we're going to cover sometimes what we try to do is we try to format your paginations or the page number here like when we read the book you see that when we talk about like preview or preface of the book they normally have some format of numbers of the page right which is different than the actual page right and when you go to appendix another format a1 a2 right how do we do that like if I want to use Microsoft Word document to create a book write a book with different pagination format how do I do that that is one of the requirement that we have to be able to expertise in this for this assignment so let's look at the requirements it say format the pagination of abstract and table contents in Roman numeral right 
and an other pages has to be a regular number? How do we do that? Now, we already shown you how to do format to the Roman numeral by double click, right? Let's review it a little bit. Double click your footer, go to where? Page numbers and do the format you change to Roman numeral. If you change back to regular number, it's going to get back to regular number. And that's not what we want, right? So, I'm going to switch back to Roman numeral first. And I'm going to show you how we're going to mix format the page generation. All right, so we have Roman numeral abstract, Roman numeral type content. I say when we get to the contents, it has to be a regular number. Right, it has to change to regular number. We have to do this, pay attention. We're going to go double click on the page itself. I'm going to get out of this. Uh, the design, I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go to the bottom of the page that I'm going to end with that Roman numeral format. And then I'm going to need to do the section break. Okay, why well, you need to break the sections? Page layout breaks again. Section breaks, not the page breaks. A lot of people make mistake. Next page. All right, so I did the section breaks. What happens when I double click, scroll down to my footer? There's no footer anymore. That means I can add my own footer, right? So let's see. It's going to say section two, and this is section one. Now I can just put my own footer right here. So let me add a footer. Same. Insert page number, bottom of page. And I can change the format. Let's format page number to the regular number. It's going to ask you you want to start from zero, or you want to continue from the previous sections. If I continue, it's going to be three. If I start at one, okay? So it's going to be page one. See that? So if you're scrolling back, ah, that's still II, right? And if I still want the date and file path, I can just copy and paste or just do the same, go to design, pick a date, enter, go to quick parts, field, and go to file name, add path. And it's supposed to go down to this to page two, which is perfect, that's what we want. So I'm gonna close this out. So that's how we do formatting your paginations. Now, for example, if I want to format my other sections with appendix, I can do the same. Go down, section breaks, right? Let's review, go down to the end, insert, right? No, no, go to page layout, breaks, right? And wh where? Next page, right? And let's say I'm gonna type this is my appendix. It's not a part of the requirements. I'm just showing you to review how to do this. Put headings, centered, and go down to the footer. Uh, double click on the footer, right? Make sure you get into the footer because you want to change the format, which is under design. So, under design here, not this, this design, and do the format page number, do the, let's say, A, B, C instead. There you go. So, we just mix the format page A, page regular numbers, and Roman numeral. Let's see if I want to do the headings for abstract. 
Uh, I want to see what the table of contents will look like. Mm. We s now, you see this? Sometimes we we may not want the page to show on your cover page. Okay. Uh, let me make sure I can get into the footer. I can just say different first page. Hmm. Or you may want to break the sections again and just remove that. Now, if I don't want to say the footer, see the footer. Like this is actually the point that I try to point out when you look at these bullets. Some of you may run into issue like when you happen to add the cover page with the page number, then your abstract is going to be page two. I don't want that. I want your abstract to be page one. Like cover page should not show pagination. Like now, we run into the issue that it's showing it. Like sometimes I used to be able to, like if you do, actually it, it did already, if you didn't use this format, if you didn't use the page format, it actually remove it when I check the difference first page. But it happens to be, I, I let me get, like when I check this, but it happens to be this format, that's why I add the text. Now, to solve these issues, you will probably need to do the same thing, do the section breaks for this page, and then remove this. Let's try that. Page layout breaks, next page. Okay, when do section break, then we can just remove this. We're going to delete everything here out. All right, so let's see. There you go. So we remove everything out that what we want, and then we close this. And then we have we don't have any pagination's or any footers. Now we start to have footers. Now, how about this? Do can we really move <coughs> everything up? <laughs> Let's see. You guys happen to be in this next section. I may need to pretty much just try to delete this page. Now, yeah, we just removed the cover page with the page number out. Okay. Next, we want to show you how to share your link. We already know we save it on SkyDrive, so that's why we require you to have it on SkyDrive. So we can click on share. And you can just get a sharing link. So there are two type of links. You can view the link, you can edit the link. View that means you, when I email the links to you, you have an access to my document. You're not allowed to edit it. But if I want you to be able to edit, then I just do create edit link. That makes sense? So it just depends on you which one you want to do. Now, you're going to submit this on Blackboard, right? Yes. Then I have an access to your document. You just submit the link, that's how you submit your assignment. Next, how to present it online. You can just click on now on the date you require to present it, 
you say present online to one of your classmates.